Kondu, the magician. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. The makers of White King Soap present for your enjoyment, Chandu, the magician. Today, Chandu, master of illusion, offers you one of his mysterious and amazing tricks. Chandu calls this trick the Assyrian money changer, and it changes pennies into dimes. You want this trick? Want to mystify and entertain your friends? Want to be a magician just like Chandu? All right, get that White King box top, send it with a quarter straight to Chandu, Los Angeles 21, and receive your first Chandu magic trick by return mail. What fun you'll have saying, see this penny? I lay the penny on the table. Now I cover the penny with the mystic ruby block. So coot, I say. Then remove the block. And the penny's gone. Now it's a silver dime. The trick is easy. So easy a child can do it. But it is clever. So clever it is very hard to detect. Start your collection of magic tricks right now with Chandu's Assyrian Money Changer. Just send 25 cents in coin and a White King soap box top to Chandu, Los Angeles, 21. Be sure to print your name and address plainly. In the small Balkan country to which he has come on a secret mission, Frank Chandler is playing a dangerous game. He has allowed Jan Metzos, the foreign minister, to believe he resents being given his unimportant consular appointment and pretends that he is willing to become an undercover agent for the unscrupulous Metzos. Meanwhile, riding with Betty and Nicholas in the forest, Bob Regent falls behind the others as he hears another rider coming toward them. It proves to be the sinister Prince Dimitri, who strengthens the evil spell he has cast over Bob by insisting Bob will never be able to speak of it to Chandler. Then suddenly, Betty rides down to them. Nicholas has been thrown from his horse. Bob goes to Nicholas at once, but Dimitri sees an opportunity to invoke the powers of black magic against Betty. Now it is an hour later. In the castle, Chandler is reading a decoded report from London on Prince Dimitri. Chandu, the magician. I thought so. Uncle Frank! Yeah, we got news for you. I have something to tell you, too. What's the matter? We just got back from taking Nicky home. His horse threw him. Was Dimitri with you? Well, not when we started out. He caught up with us. He wasn't anywhere near us when it happened, Uncle Frank. But listen... Is Nicholas badly hurt? Oh, no. He was just knocked out. Betty thought he was dead. Uncle Frank, when I saw Dimitri, I couldn't help thinking about the boy in Paris that was killed riding with him. Only... Only what? Well, you told us Dimitri knew all about black magic, and... He does. Well, this wasn't black magic, though. We found a pin in his saddle blanket. You did? Sure. The horse acted up so when Nicky tried to get back on that I took off the saddle. Dimitri couldn't have done it. He didn't even know we were going this morning. I'm sure he had nothing to do with it. What do you mean, Uncle Frank? I mean, I think I know who did. Who? Who'd want to kill Nicky? As far as you're concerned, nobody... And I don't want you to say one word to anyone about this. But everybody will know it. They sure will. You should have seen the servants swarm around when we rode into the stable yard with Nicky. He could just barely stay on his horse. No one needs to hear your version of it, Bob. I'll speak to Nicholas myself. But look, Bob, I don't see... Dimitri knows about the pin, of course. Well, no. Nicky said not to tell him. Well, I thought he was nuts because that would prove that all that stuff about Dimitri was the bunk. But he said Wasn't he... Wasn't Dimitri right there? No, he... Well, he and I were way down the hill then. Well, he said he couldn't come here to see us because Mother doesn't like him, and... Uncle Frank, where is Mother? I left her down at the Masons. Oh. Now listen, both of you. 
I want you to hear this before I leave. Where are you going? To Paris first, and possibly to Cairo. To see Najee? Yes. Oh. But that's another thing you're not to tell. Hey, what gives, Uncle Frank? What are those papers? It's a report from London on your friend, Dimitri. All that? Yes, and it's all true. In the first place, Dimitri was an agent of Roxor's for years. Oh, you're kidding. Not at all. As soon as I'd reported that Roxor was really Max Bowden, it wasn't hard to discover who'd been working with him. Well, Betty, I... you know I wouldn't say this unless it were true. Well, if Dimitri really knows black magic, why didn't Roxor send for him in each of that time instead of telling Abdallah to find him a sorcerer? Roxor can't have known it. Oh, but Uncle Men Frank... who practice black magic will go to any length to keep it secret. Yeah, I guess they would. So stay away from Dimitri. I mean it. We will, Uncle Frank. If we can. I hate to think he really did work for Roxor. Uncle Frank, when are you leaving? Right away. Tell your mother I'll try to be back by night. Even if you go to Cairo? Yes, unless... But never mind that now. Hey, there's that summons thing. I know. Remember what I said? Bob, he's gone. Well, that's the second time he's done that. I'd sure like to know how he works it. Brother. <laughs> I saw you with him, Naji, in the crystal. Mitri was not here, Chandu. You were looking into a mirror in the alchemist's room in your palace. And over your shoulder we saw his face. Naji. Yes, Chandu. You know that a mirror holds forever all the images it has reflected. When was Dimitri in Cairo? Many years ago. As men count time. Oh, Chandu, if you saw me in the crystal, you know I've tried to stand between you and this man's evil. But you know I must have been meant to meet it. Sit down again, Najee. Is this the secret you've been keeping so long? Oh, no, Chandu. I... I will tell you of Mitri. Whatever you know. Because now he's invoked the curse of Murugam. Oh, no. And not on me alone, on Dorothy, too. And even on Betty and Bob. Oh, do not say they have already fallen under this spell. Like the others. What others? In every country are those who for no reason suddenly turn against the ones they love to walk strange, lonely paths. I know. Roxo's organization was filled with such people. They are the lost ones, never knowing why. Yes. Gordon Douglas was one of them. It is true. But compared with Mitri, he was a child. Oh, Chandu, if this thing should happen to Dorothy or the children because I have not warned you. It can't be too late. Darling, why didn't you want to tell me this? It is one of the ancient secrets of my people. But surely... Naji, don't look at me as if I were a stranger. Ah. Chandu. Darling. No, no, please. I told you the secret of yours was something you've built up in your mind. I'm sure of it You now. cannot know. The yogi himself told you so. Shall I tell you exactly what he told me about you? He told you? These are his own words. Thy love bears within itself its own fulfillment. Oh. And can you not see and believe there is no hope? No, my darling. Because without you, there is no fulfillment. You have convinced yourself because you wish to believe it. Well, don't you? Yes, but... Najee, sometime, somehow... Oh, if only I had not told you I loved you. Don't be sorry. You belong to me. I cannot. And someday you'll find the secret doesn't matter anymore. Will you tell me when the day comes? It can never come, Chandu. Oh, yes, it can. Darling... Good afternoon, Mrs. Regan. Dimitri. You do not seem to mind the hill. 
I was uh, waiting for you. The view from the courtyard here is magnificent. I asked you not to come to the castle again. Madame, I cannot believe a beautiful woman can remain angry for two days because of a few compliments. No. It is not pleasant to know you dislike me so intensely. I hardly know you. Bob and Betty do not share your antagonism. You are mistaken. A moment, madam. You have heard of uh, Nicholas' unfortunate accident this morning? Why, no. He was thrown from his horse. Oh, like that boy who was riding with you in Paris. But the children didn't tell me you were going with them. I was not with them. Then how did it happen? <laughs> you do me too much honor, madam. All accidents cannot be credited to me. Well, I'll hear about it from them. You know where Bob and Betty are? They must be here by this time. Ah, yes. But where? Dimitri, what do you mean? What's happened to them? Uh, they are impulsive, like all Americans. They plunge headlong into matters they do not understand. Where are they? It was only to be expected. A harmless desire to explore the castle. No doubt they have heard of the stories of its strange history. The Temple of Black Magic... If you weren't with them this morning, you don't know where they are. I said only that I was not with them when they rode away, madame. I know where they are now. What have you done with them? I? It was entirely their own idea. Uh, Betty's, I believe. The underground rooms seem to fascinate her. I know they do. Tell me where they are. Surely you could not bring yourself to let me show you the way. Don't stand there talking about it. I know as well as you do they mustn't stay in there. The miracle of mother love. Merci, madame. Come with me. <laughs> Would you like to be a magician? Would you like to mystify your friends with magic tricks? Chandu the magician has a magic trick for you. Chandu calls it the Assyrian money changer. It changes pennies into dimes. And we'll send it to you for just 25 cents and a white king box top. This trick is fascinating. Listen, you lay a penny on the table. Cover the penny with the mystic ruby block. So coot, you say. Then remove the block. Now the penny's gone, and you see a bright, shining silver dime instead. Wonderful, isn't it? And it's so simple, you can do it not once, but again and again and again. Your friends will never catch on. Now to get Chandu's Assyrian money changer, just mail 25 cents in coin and the top from a box of White King soap to... Chandu, Los Angeles 21, California. That's Chandu, Los Angeles 21. And remember, nothing washes like soap. There is no soap like White King. You'll love White King. Chandu the Magician is produced and directed by Cyril Armbrister. The makers of White King invite you to listen tomorrow at this time when the story resumes. Chandu the Magician. This is the Mutual Don Lee Broadcasting System.